Okay, so what I want to show you tonight is how to set up your very first blocking pass of animation for your character and your camera. And it looks something like this. Your very first blocking pass is super rough, and it's just about getting your character and the camera into, into the right place at the right time. So um, now if you've followed some of the earlier videos in the series, You'll remember that I'm basing this on an animatic of some comic book style storyboards I did for a game. And I've taken these into After Effects and I have animated the camera to get a sense of the movement through the space that I want. And obviously this, the storyboards themselves are informing what poses my character will go through across the shot. So I've got three extreme poses here. I've got um, lounging at the very beginning on her cell phone. I have uh, her next extreme pose, which is when she first stands up and um, is, I guess, just kind of curious as to what's going on. Why is everyone crowding around the window? And the final pose, she has rudely shoved someone out of the way and is looking out the window herself. So I'm trying to capture the movement of her through space as well as the movement of the camera. Now back in Maya, Again, if you remember from our earlier videos, we talked about the importance of roughing out your 3D, so pre-visualizing your 3D before you actually spend the weeks and months it takes to make everything look absolutely amazing and then realize that um, what you have doesn't actually work for the shot. So in a film and a game animation pipeline, you'll see most of the movie um, and oftentimes most of the game uh, will look like this, very, very blocky but the entire animation is there and you can make a lot of decisions. Okay, so this is what I'm going to show you how to do. I'm going to get you up to this point where you've got your first strong pose, your uh, second strong pose, and of course the third strong pose. And if we just um, bring back the image sequence that I've got connected to this, I can bring in that alpha and you can see that I've got her looking out the window there. I've tried to capture the spirit of that pose as much as possible. Um, her in her extreme pose there. Couldn't quite get the pose absolutely perfect uh, as I have warped 2D space more than I can actually warp 3D space and the first pose there. Alright, so let's set up our um, let's set up our first pose and our first uh, get our camera animating across the shot and we'll go from there. 